Hi, my name is Robin Friesen Hallwell. I'm the Prevention Education Coordinator for Blue Sky Bridge. I'm here to talk to you as a parent or caregiver about how you can talk to your child about boundaries and safe and unsafe touch. These are important concepts to start teaching your child at a young age, and beginning these conversations will help to provide a safe environment at home for all of your children. Teaching your kids about personal space and respecting personal space respect, protects your child as well as other children. Once we talk about this, we can talk about the difference between safe and unsafe touch, and then go into a discussion of touching rules for your family. It is important for a child's social development to understand what personal space is. When we teach kids about personal space, we are also teaching them respect. This is, this is an example of a conversation you could have with your child about this concept. You could say to your kid something like, personal space is the invisible bubble or boundary that each person keeps around them to remain safe and show respect. Our bubble may change depending on who we are with. If you know someone really well, like your mom or dad, your bubble might be small because you know them and you feel comfortable being close to them. But if you're near someone that you don't know, your personal space bubble might get bigger. It is important that people respect your personal space when you ask them and that you respect their personal space too. If someone is not respecting your personal space, you might feel uncomfortable or get a weird feeling in your stomach. We can show our friends respect by asking them before we give them a hug or a high five. Our bubble is always around us and everyone else too, when we stand in line at school or when we sit down to eat our lunch. If someone gets in your bubble, you can step away to give yourself more space. If you're going to sit next to someone, you can ask them if they're okay with you sitting that close. You can ask them if they need more space. This is showing your friends that you respect their personal space. If you feel like someone is in your space bubble, you could say, I need a little space, please, or I'm not comfortable with people being this close to me. When having this conversation with your child, practice some scenarios so they can feel comfortable with this language. You can also tell them that it might not be a kid who gets in their space bubble. It could be an adult. It might even be somebody that you know or care about, but it's okay to say something. One easy way to incorporate this concept into your everyday life is to have everyone in your house ask each other before getting into each other's bubbles. For example, you look sad. Would it be all right if I gave you a hug? Or would you like to give grandma a hug or a kiss before you go to bed? Saying things like this sends the message to kids that they are the boss of their body and gives them the confidence to keep their boundaries strong if someone tries to break them. The book Personal Space Camp by Julie Cook is a book that you can use to facilitate your conversation with your children. This book reinforces the concept of personal space and shows how one boy overcomes his issue with invading other kids' space bubbles. A hula hoop is a quick and easy demonstration of personal space. This allows kids to visualize the boundary or bubble around people. Try it with your kids. Practice standing in line or sitting next to each other inside your bubbles so they can see how much space someone might need. Now let's talk about safe and unsafe touch. Explain to your child that an unsafe touch is a touch that hurts you, like a pinch or a kick. Or it can be a touch that you don't want or one that makes you feel uncomfortable, like an unwanted hug, even if it's from a family member or someone you care about. A safe touch is a touch that makes us happy like a hug from our mom or a high five from our friend. It is important that all families establish rules regarding boundaries. Some rules you might think about for your household might be things like shutting the door when using the bathroom or changing clothes, knocking before opening a door that is shut, only letting one person in the bathroom at a time, and no photos without clothes on, no unsafe touches, and of course, respecting personal space bubbles. Here are the touching rules that I talk to third grade students about. They are, my body belongs to me. I do not have to share my body. This means I am the boss of my body. No one is allowed to make me touch their body and no one is allowed to touch my private parts except to keep me safe and healthy. 
One important touching rule for every child and every family is no touching private parts. Make sure your child knows that private parts are the areas covered by swimsuits. We encourage parents to teach the anatomically correct names for all body parts and use opportunities like bath time to remind children that if anybody tries to touch or look at those private body parts, it is important to tell a trusted adult. Encouraging independent washing and toileting will help empower young children and build their self-confidence. Asking all children before we give them a hug, a kiss, or a high five shows that we respect them and models healthy boundaries. Here are two books that you can share with your children to enhance your conversation about this. The Swimsuit Lesson by John Holston and I Said No by Zach and Kimberly King. Both of these books reinforce the topics I have already talked about and give you and your children opportunities to take this discussion further. If your child tells you that someone has touched, looked at, or shown them private parts, contact your local law enforcement agency right away. Blue Sky Bridge is always here to support you, give you resources, or answer questions about specific situations or behaviors. Call us at 303-444-1388 or visit our website at blueskybridge.org. It's important to remember that curiosity and exploration are natural parts of young children's development. To learn more about the range of children's sexual development and behaviors, Look at the Project Pinwheel website or call Blue Sky Bridge for specific questions. Starting these conversations with your children and demonstrating safe boundaries at home is one way to help keep your children safe. The more we talk to our kids about things like this, the more we protect them. And when you see boundaries being broken, don't be afraid to say something. Sometimes children who are breaking other children's boundaries need more targeted interventions than redirection. Project Pinwheel and Blue Sky Bridge are available to host trainings or workshops for adults. Check either website for available presentations, which include Darkness to Light's Stewards of Children. It is an adult's responsibility to protect children. Learn more about child sexual abuse, help us raise awareness, and together let's make our community safer.